All right, greetings everyone. This is Rona back here, and we're back with uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I was just going to try to replicate some of my less than stellar rocket designs and show you what it looks like when you fail completely. And I've done that a lot, but uh, it's all in fun. And uh, they're only Kerbals, it's not like they're people, so it's not a big deal if they blow up in launching rockets and get trapped in outer space. I actually did uh, break down and watch some tutorial videos because uh, I'm not smart enough to figure it out on my own. And even though I am a stubborn guy and like to figure stuff out on my own, uh, this game's a little too tricky to just try to do it cold turkey like that. And I ended up getting a Kerbal in orbit, but I foolishly didn't have enough fuel to uh, get back down so he was trapped there I did end that flight so uh, I don't know if he died or what but it's not my problem anymore let's go ahead and get into the game and I'm going to load one of my less than stellar designs I tried to replicate what I did uh, initially I think the Cyclops 2 is a nice large piece of garbage yeah, you can see it's got solid booster stuff all over the place. Some control fins and then, I don't know, impressive looking rocket. But it doesn't work so well. But let's give it a roll and see how it goes, shall we? Alright, so here we are on the launch pad. I am trying to use my joystick now. I'm still not completely satisfied with all my key binding because... Uh, my Logitech Attack 3 has tons of buttons all over it. And, uh, yeah. You know, that could have been worse because at least the capsule's still intact. I was oversteering that thing, and this particular rocket design is not very structurally sound, so it didn't like it. You can see, all three of the Kerbal astronauts are smiling because uh, they didn't die in that hellacious explosion. Either that or they're idiots and they enjoy being in exploding rockets, I don't know. But they are going to coast to a safe landing uh, right next to the launch pad, so it was a pretty quick trip, uh, not even to the upper atmosphere. Basically uh, a very expensive amusement park ride. So that was the uh, Cyclops 2. I think uh, the initial Cyclops was a little more impressive. And again, I'm using these large tanks and huge engines. I was just trying to make something rather epic. Yeah, this one is incredibly silly and it doesn't work at all, but it's even more fun to watch launch. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a whirl, shall we? All right, pay attention. This is going to be an even shorter trip with a surprise ending. Somehow, in all of that, all three astronauts were able to survive. And after screaming horribly, they all seem quite pleased with their survival of the incredibly stupid rocket design. But they landed right next to the launch pad, so it was a very short astral trip. Alright, now we're looking at the Orbiter Mark One. Bravo. I think this is a more functional rocket, but I don't remember right offhand, so let's go ahead and give this one a whirl and see if maybe I can get the sole pilot uh, into orbit and uh, maybe do a little EVA if I can get up there, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, so this rocket's a little better design, but uh, I think this is the one I used previously when I said that I actually got into orbit. And it does work. It's pretty stable. But I just run out of fuel too quickly, so I need to find a way to, uh, well, number one, pilot better, which I am getting a little better, but uh, still not up to uh, Kerbal Space Program speed, I think. A 
little bit of issues with the separation there, but we didn't lose too much of our momentum. I'm going to go ahead and try and get an orbit with this again. And it's going to be a lot of uh, subtle maneuvering. Again, I'm trying to uh, set up my button binds on my joystick so I don't have to switch back and forth between the keyboard and the joystick. And sometimes I forget which buttons I set up to do what, but uh, as I play more, as long as I keep my buttons pretty static, that should be less of an issue going forward. Uh, still, I need to get myself set up to uh, certain points on the gimbal at certain times or certain altitudes. But I think I started trying to maneuver a little too early and uh, end up wasting a lot of fuel because of it. I should have actually uh, let my altitude get a little bit higher before I went for this complete horizontal burst. As you can see, I'm still in the uh, darker blue atmosphere, uh, not quite in the, the upper levels of the atmosphere, which is probably where I should have waited to get to, so I'm two stages down, and I'm just on my final rocket to stage now, and I did set up some uh, RCS on this as well to help with maneuvering, and it does work a little better, but I end up being just a little bit too low um, to make the most efficient orbit I can. So I'm trying to gain a little bit more altitude as I go. And I'm just wasting fuel left and right here, but I do end up getting into orbit again. Just not a wonderful orbit. So now I'm actually uh, high enough now to where I could actually do a uh, horizontal acceleration that would efficiently um, establish a solid orbit around Kerbal. But as you can see, I'm almost... Uh, down to half a tank on my last fuel cells, so I've wasted way too much fuel getting to this point. But it's all a learning process, so the game's quite a bit quieter now that we're not blurring rockets and we're just drifting silently in space. But I need to get closer to the apolapsis. Um, prior to hitting it, so I'm still going up, and then uh, that, I think, from what I've seen, is the best way to expand your uh, orbital path. So I'm going to slowly accelerate the game and hopefully not overshoot it again like I did last time. So we won't max out the warp, we'll just get pretty close to the apolapsis, and uh, by the time I get there, my horizon line has moved. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, fine-tune maneuvering again. Once again, I'm wasting fuel. So if you readjust the uh, gimbal so that I'm pretty much heading towards the horizon, now we can look. See there, we've got a solid orbit and actually too big of an orbit at this point. But it is an orbit, so that works. Just not very pretty. And I'm almost, uh, I think, doing an equatorial orbit. And if you get a nice, solid, tight uh, equatorial orbit like that, that's the easiest way from what I've seen to get to the moon, but I'm a little ways away from there, so I think we're going to take our little Kerbal knot out here, 
and do a little EVA stuff with his uh, jetpack. And this is like the second time I've tried this because I tried it last time I got my Kerbal into orbit. And these uh, controls are very, very touchy. Not to mention the fact it's actually very difficult to uh, get him back to the ladder so he can get back in the capsule as well. And uh, right now there's really nothing up here for him to do. So an EVA is pretty pointless other than uh, when he gets home. If he gets home, he can brag to everybody that he was the first Kerbal to do a spacewalk. Uh, otherwise he'll be, he'll be dead, he won't care. Uh, people will just uh, read it in history class in elementary school or something. But eventually, I will get him back into the capsule. So after a ridiculous amount of time maneuvering in space, I actually uh, it helps, or at least it helped for me to uh, rotate the camera view. So um, I was behind him facing the ladder, and then he was able to get back in without too much of a problem. Um, now I'm going to attempt to uh, shrink my orbit and fail several times. I actually expand it even more um, because I'm going the wrong way and then I try to turn around and instead of doing a 180 I do a 360 and expand it again. Eventually when I get the rocket in the right position well, I'll show you what happens at that point, but I am going to skip ahead a little bit here so you don't have to watch this rocket spin around 150,000 times. Alright, so at this point I actually have the rocket in the right position, and I start burning, the orbit starts shrinking, and then I run out of gas. So, I have stranded another poor Kerbal in orbit around Kerbal. There's pretty much nothing I can do about that. I'm wondering if I could, uh, I don't know, EVA him into uh, another command pod, but I don't know if there would be room in there with three other Kerbals. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave this flight going just so I can mull it over and see if I can come up with a way to rescue him just for something to do uh, prior to attempting a moon mission. But before I do that, I need to get very uh, skilled at getting into orbit with plenty of fuel left over. Yeah, and you can see that, uh, actually Tinfoil Chef pointed it out to me, but that tracking center lets you switch between flights because you can have several things going on at one time so you can see that because I didn't end the flight um, of a couple different ones there's actually command capsules uh, sitting on the ground uh, still technically uh, in flight on a mission because I didn't end the flight so if you just go in there and end flights then they will uh, get removed from the tracking center but Eventually, I think you could have, uh, you know, an orbital mission going on and then, uh, you know, launch another rocket. But obviously you would want uh, your primary mission to be at some static point where you don't have to micromanage everything before you leave them and uh, move on to something else. But you can, have, you can end up having several things going on at one time. But for now, this poor fellow is just going to be uh, circling the planet and hopefully not running out of astronaut ice cream or oxygen in the meantime. That's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all later. Bye.